<laughs> Ladies and gents, Captain Van here. And in this episode, we are going to talk about power by reviewing and unboxing this Makita cordless XGT 40 volts drill hammer. We are going to test this monster and review its functions. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell for more tool reviews like this one and stuff about aviation and woodworking. In the meantime, sit back relax because you're in for a ride of 40 volts of pure power. Let's go. Ladies and gents, so this is the Makita model that HP001 GD201. It's a complete set with the unit and battery plus the charger. Let's unbox this one. So once you open the box, you have the manuals, the manual for the fast charger, a manual for the cordless drill hammer, and of course the warranty card. Here, I think this is the uh, side grip or the auxiliary handle. You can tell that this tool is very powerful because of the size of this thing. Look at that. This, I think, is the depth stop. It goes with the auxiliary handle. So later, we'll try to install that. Then we have the spare battery. It's a uh, Makita 40 volts. Li-ion 2.5 AH or by the way AH means or stands for amp hour and then we have the battery charger so this is the Makita DC40RA fast charger and of course we have the main tool itself with the battery installed this tool is modeled at HP001G it's a 40 volts cordless drill hammer with a brushless motor. So later we'll try to go in depth with its features. So we'll just move it out of the way. And that's about it. It's an empty box. It's a nice container. So let's look at the main tool itself. This is the cordless drill hammer. To install the battery, you just have to slide it in towards the main tool and you have to wait for that clicking sound then you're good to go if you're going to remove the battery just press this button and slide it out of the way just by holding this build mates you can really feel the build quality of makita it weighs around 2.7 to 3 kilograms this beast is geared towards the industrial use or heavy loads or heavy duty stuffs the chuck has a maximum capacity of 13 millimeters or half inch and the material of this chuck is made out of metal unlike other cordless drill which is made up of rubber plastic let's look at the uh, action modes so we have three modes first one is the hammer mode the symbol is uh, like a hammer so this is geared towards masonry used to drill holes in materials such as concretes it has a rotation and a hammer function that's why it's called a hammer Next one is the screw driving mode, mainly used to drive in screws either through metal, wood, or concrete. Normally, it is combined with a low speed with a higher torque setting. And of course, we have the drilling mode. And the word itself, it's mainly used for drilling without the hammer function. So it can also be used in metal, wood, or uh, concrete. Normally combined with a high speed with a lower torque setting. And then on top, we have the speed change lever or the gear setting. We have two types of setting. Number one is for low speed with a higher torque. And number two 
it's uh, high speed with a lower torque. High speed. Low speed. So if you noticed here, buildmates, it doesn't have the torque setting unlike the other cordless drill which has a number alongside with the action modes because in this type of model makita smartly placed the torque setting at the bottom you can only use it in screw driving mode so once you engage the screw driving action mode the light will illuminate at the bottom if you press the unlock button there's a green light that will blink. That's your indication that you can now change the speed or torque setting. So right now we are at the low speed. So for the low speed, it has a maximum of up to uh, 41. There. 41. And for the high speed, the maximum that you'll get is at uh, 21 and then to lock you just press it again And there you have your torque to install the side grip auxiliary handle just have to unscrew or unlock it and so that you'll have a nice opening and It depends whether you're a lefty or a righty. I'm right-handed So normally I used my tool using my right hand. I'm going to place my auxiliary handle on the left side Then just have to twist it to lock there according to the manual the proper way to hold this is with your support arm having a firm grip on the auxiliary handle and your driving arm will be on this like that but i rather prefer like this to install the depth stop you can see a hole just at the bottom of the uh, auxiliary handle so this rubber tip should be facing forward and then you just have to loosen the screw and then you insert the depth stop stick and then you tighten it up again and there you have your depth stop and for the sound test we have 99.8 decibels meaning it requires an ear protection we are going to try this one on a concrete using the mason rebit it's an eight millimeter so make sure it's all locked in place we'll put the setting on a hammer mode number two for our gear setting which is a high speed so let's try this one so bad lakas And now we are going to try it on wood. And this time we'll go for the drilling mode. Still on number two gear for the high speed and low torque. <laughs> and easy breezy. Gents, this tool is more than enough for DIY use and it is mainly suited for industrial and job site use. Kaya kung isa kang contractor and naghahanap ka ng quality tool to invest, I suggest you go for this one and hindi ka mapapahiya of its build quality and power. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And this has been your captain, Van Ranyawa. Stay safe and see you again in our future builds.